The first, we have problem with our female energy when we have problem with our mother. If you continue to be upset, you blame, you don't like, uh, you humiliate, you reject your mother, unfortunately, you reject and you have problem with your female energy. Uh, from mother to mother, from your grandmother to your mother, from your mother to you, from you to your uh, future daughter, uh, you will give your female energy. And let's today to check how is at the moment move your energy and to work with your inner woman and your inner man. Inside us, we have two energy, man and woman, female and male. When you live more through male energy, unfortunately, your body starts to have problems. You start to be sick, you don't have energy, you are uh, always angry, don't uh, feel okay, or irritate you, uh, you feel tired all the time. It means that your male energy is very strong inside you. After you start to have problems with your body and different type of sicknesses. When your body more in female energy, first you feel relaxed, generally relaxed in your life, in your actions. You can relax also in your sexual life. You don't need to be all time stuck. Your body healthy. You have a lot of energy ideas you create, you do things. You really enjoy who you are. And it's very important to learn how you can be more woman. If you imagine now opposite of you, your mother. Can you close your eyes? And just to imagine the opposite of you, you can see your biological mother. A woman who give your life, with whom you was nine months, woman to whom you belong. And can you tell it? I belong to my mother. I belong to my mother. I belong to my mother. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and how you feel about this? That you belong to your mother. Can you imagine that after your mother, it stay your grandmother, your grand grandmother, and seven generation of women? And you connect, connect and you belong to them. I belong seven generation of women. I belong. I belong. And how you feel when you belong to your mother? to your grandmother, to your grandmother. How was the story of these women? If you saw them as a happy women, as women who have happy relationship, then being mothers, if they've been more in their female energy, they've been supportive, lovely. How they create the relationship with husbands, if they've been together or they be divorced. Which feelings mostly have women in your generation? Which roles they have? They stay work at home, they have profession, they make money, they depend on men. What is the story of women in your family? to whom you belong. And how you feel about this. How you feel to belong to them. How you feel to be part of this story. Very often I listen and I don't want to be part of the story. It's not my story, but you cannot. All we are, we belong. And you belong to your family and story of your family.
Mm -hmm. And take a breath. Exhale and scale. And open your eyes. And can you know to write those five days? <clears throat> we will work with this energy uh, to understand, to realize, to see more deep how it was, how it was in our family, how we feel it in our family, how it was for us, how it for you to belong. and to be connected. Mm -hmm. And which energy you have. Women in my family, and can you share how the story of women in your family? There was more house women, there was independent, there was suffering, there was victim, there was more dominate. Women in my family. Who would like to share? You can take your hand, to put microphone. How was in my family? Which roles play women in my family? If they divorced, <clears throat> who was the leader in the relationship? If women suffer there, how it was in my family? Mm -hmm. Who would like to share? Gina, Amy, Angela, welcome. Mm -hmm. Here, very important to see the model of family and has four models of family. Woman took a household, duties, and men worked. Mm -hmm. And how it in your life has four models of family. The first model of family, uh, it's when women, it was patriarch model, when women stay home, take care about children, usually have a lot of children, and men he's working, make my, men make money, and women follow him. Women do all what men say, decide, and uh, she was around him. And in this case, you have a lot of female energy, but sometimes problem is that you become to be a victim. Man can be arrogant, man can be cheating, man can be bad with his family. Uh, and um, you have this model in this case, also to stay home, also not work. It's in this case, very difficult woman to have her professional realization. Very often you continue the same scenario. If in your generation, all women was housewives and you decide that you want to work, to have your education, be ready to feel uh, bad about this, to say, oh, I'm not good enough. Um, I, I make something opposite of women in my family. Be ready that it's a lot of judgment from the women in your family. They will say, why you decide to work? Why you decide to do this? And they will try to explain that you are not right. And you must to pay price, guiltness. Guiltness and rejection. And even your mother can judge you that you decide to make a career and you decide to do the things. <clears throat> Second model, it's model when already people don't have so many children. It's a model of uh, focus on children. It's uh, women who mostly have been a mother's. Mostly they live from children. They're working, they do things, but all what they're doing is only to make children happy, only to take uh, care about children. Children, it's uh, the focus point. I want my children to be happy. I want uh, uh, to work for them. It's women who forgot herself. She will give all her money, all her energy, all her time to her child. She don't take it from herself. Third scenario, uh, it's uh, when you are uh, grow up in family with equal parents. Both they are working, both they take care about children, both they have been strong, both they uh, have leadership position. Even some period of time, maybe your mother was more stronger, some period of time your father was stronger, but both they were successful. In your case, you used to have education, you used to work, you used to explain what you want, what you don't want, you used to be strong. 
And uh, the fourth position is matriarchat. It's when your mother was single mother. When your mother was strong woman, she couldn't keep a man, she couldn't have relationship, she was take care about you alone. Sometimes she say how difficult is it and how you oblige to her, how you must to be very careful and good with her. And all time she manipulate and control you. And in this case, it's very control mother. And in your generation, women was very strong women who must to survive. My mother single par uh, parents, <clears throat> and I was only one child. Yes, in this case, usually you feel like you obliged to help your mother. And uh, very often in this case, you have problem um, to be loyal to your mother and you need to hate a man. And in this case, you always feel bad if you fall to love, if you like some man, if you have gone relationship, unconscious mind provocate you to reject men, to punish them, to go away of them. Sometimes you can be very independent woman. Yes, they have one client and she told me, I don't want men to pay my bills. I don't want men even one coffee to give to me. It's made me to feel bad. And I say, what about your father? I hate him. He was leave us very soon. I was very young and my mother take care about me. And I say, in your case, you loyal to your mother to hate men and unfortunately it's mean then uh, you will always single because you don't allow yourself to love your father and you don't allow yourself to love your uh, future husbands. Так. Just to reply on questions. Working strong women. Yes, means that you are also in this case. The woman in my family we are working horses carrying weak men on shoulders yeah very often if women are very strong and take big position uh, from the natural way she attract very weak men which take on stay on her shoulders and until she wears this uh, heaviness it will happen like this and in this case you have two scenarios or you also choose a weak man and you are like your mother or you want to be opposite and you would like to find somebody strong and uh, to be on his shoulders and to be more like a child. But usually men are not so happy with this. Those days I have many conversations with men. It was very interesting. And mostly of men told me, I don't want second daughter. I want a partner. I want a woman who also have her targets, her dreams. She also know what she wants, what she doesn't want. I don't want to be her father. And it's very common now. Men also want women who can be equal. Strong father and provide strong mother who work uh, on a while. In this case, usually children feel very lonely. If both parents working very hard, child must be a lot of time alone. And in this case, child will say, my mother never asked me how I feel, what happened with me. She don't care about my feelings. She care only about herself, only about her work. Yes, I have it all, but I was very lonely. And usually in this case, in your relationship, you also feel very lonely. And you can find a partner who work a lot, but who again, don't ask about your feelings. My mother chose not work uh, for the sake and her relationship with my father. Yes, in this case, depend. Uh, she choose like a suffering, or she choose like she likes to stay home and likes to take care about children. If she really likes to be home wife, it's totally okay. Uh, you can be also in this position. Usually, this type of women also after a find man who doesn't want his woman to work and stay home. But if she was obliged, maybe culture, maybe religion, uh, maybe somebody told her. In this case, it can be like punishment to stay home, to take care about children, and women want to be opposite. Still can't accept my behavior of my mother. She's very dominant and very difficult to communicate with her. Usually dominate mother, it's mother who must to survive, mother who has a lot of responsibility, mother who stay a lot of male energy, who must to take care about family, who must to pay the bills, who must to make many obligations, who must to take care about uh, children, about other things. And in this case, um, unfortunately, she must be 
very strong male. For her was forbidden to be female energy and she doesn't have a choice. And in this case, you also has problems to be a female woman. And you also will suffer and feel guiltiness yourself when you decide to be a woman. Yes, exactly. She felt like a sacrifice for accomplishment. Uh, many years ago, a family and role model of women was very different. Women must to sacrifice many things. Women didn't have choice. Women didn't have education. Women couldn't work, not have work for women. And uh, women must to accept my role to have many children, to stay home and to cook and to take care. Today it's change. <clears throat> but very often we continue to have this guiltness and um, feeling that I cannot do all what I want from our childhood. It's continued to be on our shoulders. And uh, even today, women sometimes don't take education, don't allow yourself to be a woman, don't know even how to be a woman, how to do what I want and how to be free, how to enjoy my life. Mm -hmm. My mother felt uh, resentful that she gave up uh, her career to take care of home. When her mother died, she did the household at home and married early. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Today, women uh, would like to work. Today, women like to have independence. For some cultures of men, it's difficult, especially cultures which people, Arabic people, Muslim people, when they use the role of women, it's not uh, to be free. Now, if you see in Saudi uh, Arabic, how it's changed with new president, how he allowed women to be open face, how allowed women to start to have education. It's huge uh, win, huge. And uh, women are very thankful him from these changes. Overt now change. Women start slowly, slowly to take your space, space of equal. Price which we pay for this, if you become to be equal, then you also must to pay equal. You also must to pay 50-50%. You also must to take responsibility. And uh, it's not comfortable for men. He doesn't know what to do with this. He doesn't know if uh, and how he continues to be a man. Because your um, conflict, mostly of you, inner conflict, then from one side, I would like to have more strong men, more big men, men with whom I can to relax from one side. From other side, I feel... Uh, mm, afraid i uh, don't want to follow him i don't want uh, to be dependent of him i want to be independent woman and you want to be independent and it doesn't work and you need to see how you would like to be in your life what is work for you i don't mind if i belong to my mother and grandmother the other women in my family but i don't want to feel that i have to sacrifice because of this you don't have choice. We belong. Only if it's like you say, like Michael Jackson, he said, I don't belong to my family. I want to be white, not to be black. And he finished not good. Every time when we don't want to belong, uh, we provocate cancer. We provocate immune sicknesses because you say, you tell yourselves, I don't belong to you. I don't want to be like this. All of us, we belong. We don't have choice. If you want to have healthy, long life, you need to accept it. And it uh, doesn't mean good or bad, we just belong. And it gives you explanation, for example, why if your woman was uh, sacrificed career and stay home, why for you it's so difficult sometimes to choose career and not to follow the same scenario. Because when we belong, of course, we have some scenario which for us it's more easy to follow. And uh, the big challenge, if you can be happy woman and you can give this scenario to your children, your future children. Uh, if during exercise I didn't feel like I can, I want to belong to my mom, what I can do to change the resistance inside me. About this, exactly, we work during these days. Mostly of women, they have resistance about uh, belonging to their mother, or mother. From this reason, we have so many sicknesses in this life and people suffer so much. 
uh, because we cannot go far away, unfortunately. But good news, then we can learn new language. You will never forget your mother language, never. But you can learn and English and French and Germany and other language. It will never like a mother language, but you can use it and you can work and you can be with this and it can help you. And it's our work exactly to develop new languages of happiness, which you will do here, which you will do after on Geisha. Uh, it's your way to develop yourself. And it starts through the love to your mother. It starts when you say, yes, I belong. And I took the best quality of my mother, my grandmother, my grand-grandmother. I see the story to which I belong. And it's uh, your first day of work to learn more, maximum more about women in your generation, to whom you belong. What was the strong quality of these women? What they like good? Um, how their husbands choose them? If they have somebody who divorce, why divorce? Uh, what they dream to do? Maybe they have very good voice. Maybe there was very good house um, and uh, housewife and very good cooking. Maybe they was very good in sales uh, and communication. Maybe they was very foxy and they know how to manage men. The most information, women in my generation, to collect information about this. How they been, what they're strong, what their disadvantage, and what they're not was so good. Maybe they don't was been so in my generation, unfortunately, mostly of women not was good housewife or was working uh, woman. And um, I am the same. We cannot be very far away. We can develop some things. For example, I know that I don't have skills to be a good housewife, but I hire people who care about my house to be clean, to be nice, to be cooked. Uh, it's in development. Maybe you not so good in something in your generation, but you can do something to increase and to improve it and to make it better. How to love and respect father is he continue to take care of family of many years. A lot of men, unfortunately, don't take care about family. It's true. It's reality. For this has many reasons. Uh, most the biggest reason it's a woman because woman couldn't provocate him to love her. And through this, he cannot take care about the woman, about children, uh, because she not stay in her female energy. She doesn't know how to be a woman. She doesn't know how to keep a man. She doesn't know how to uh, provocate him to be a good father. Many women doesn't know this. And in this case, unfortunately, he do all what he wants. And in this case, you need to forgive and to accept. Your father give you your life. I will speak one of session about father. Uh, he, will, he gave you your life. He, he created you. You has his skin, his skills, his quality. You belong to him also. And even if he doesn't help. Again, you belong to him. And all my conception, how I work with clients, when I make personal session, uh, seminar, geisha, Path of Happy Woman, it's about first to love your parents, not ideal parents, not perfect parents, but it's your parents. And you will never ever to have different parents. You have only one biological mother and one biological father, and you belong to them. And the first step to our female energy, it's challenging from this way, it's when you really love your mother. And you feel it, I belong with proudness. I belong with all my energy. I belong with all my quality. I belong to women in my generation and I belong to my mother. When you feel it, you can make big changes. To feel your belonging. That you are part of this. And you can be happy with this. Mm -hmm. And close again your eyes. Take a breeze. And to tell it again. 
I belong to my mother and the women in my generation. I wear the part of my story with me. I am a woman who belongs to my family. And I am proud of my mother and father. And in the moment, open your eyes. Today it's first step in our challenge. Just to connect with this feeling of belong. I belong. Tomorrow you continue to work those five days with this challenging to go in female energy. And we will work with our father, we work with our inner man, inner woman. We will work, uh, work with our very therapeutic practice, our happy woman inside us, how to connect and to go more deep inside. Today, I belong. And to build my belonging to them. You belong and you will build new quality, but you will never separate with whom you belong. Connect with thing, I belong to my family, I belong to my female energy, I belong, belong woman in my generation. 